Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Stevens. And you're watching the Versus Series at StarCityGames.com. All right, so Todd and I are going to be playing a little legacy action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be piloting my best friend, Brian Brown Dewins, uh, Grix's control deck that he went X3 with a couple unfinished at the Pro Tour with. He did really well with it. Uh, kept us in the tournament a lot longer for me to get my gears running. Because <laughs> yeah. I went 2-5 on day one. Yeah. But uh, we, we still finished 4-3 on day one and then was able to just go 5-2 on the next day to get us both to world. So nice. it was nice that uh, he kept me in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And it was the most popular deck. It was pretty interesting to see it just skyrocket in popularity, even though we were playing it for like the whole month and there was none of it really. Yeah, that's what uh, I've talked to Tannen after the tournament, you know, about like Legacy, because of course he was playing it there. And, and he said that, because uh, yeah, like like the, the paper team tournaments, we didn't really see Grix's control mm -hmm. and he didn't see it until, he said like the last like five days to a week leading up into the tur the pro tour that he was like, mm -hmm. then Grix's control started showing up all over the place and that's yeah. when he started seeing it a lot. Was he uh, caught uh, off guard? No, not really. Okay, not what really. Did he play? He played Blue White Stoneblade, which is not he a got caught off guard. Which is not a good deck. But basically and he he knew it wasn't really the best choice. He uh he was like the one person with the deck that, that did well. But um he, he basically he liked Death and Taxes a lot, mm -hmm. but he couldn't put down Brainstorm Enforceable. So he just played sure. Death and Taxes with Brainstorm Enforceable basically. Oh really? Basically, yeah, like with the Stoneblade. Like he played a you know, a little bit different than normal, but yeah. So sure. he you know, he wanted to play Death and Taxes, but he just he was just a broken man. He couldn't, yeah. couldn't, you know, couldn't <laughs> he knew that it was like oh, I just I need to play Brainstorm Enforceable. Yeah. And you're playing the breakout deck of the tournament, mm -hmm. which there's not usually Legacy doesn't have breakout uh no decks, but yeah, Team Channel Fireball showed up with a really cool Death Shadow deck, and we've seen this before in this format, but it was way more all in with Death Shadow. This is more of just a Delver deck that supports it in a lot of cool ways. And in the hands of Josh Ritter Layton, it looked real good. Oh, yeah, man, that, that guy is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he's so he, good. He, he made that deck look real good. So, yeah. but you're gonna make it look better, right? Yeah, hopefully. Uh, the first time I heard about this deck really was actually like the very first of the team opens, right? When like, like right after the bannings, whenever, um, I was I, like, we it was in Worcester, which is like forever away for us. Yeah. But I did the car ride with Collins Mullen, who I was teaming with, and Dylan Donegan. And Dylan was like trying to put together with the deck with like Oliver too and stuff. And they yeah. were like, you know, trying to build the deck like like while he was in the backseat of the car and stuff. And so I know that uh, they were kind of an ins inspiration to Channel Fireball. And Josh, you know, just made some good changes to like adding the reanimate stuff like mm -hmm. that. And uh, and Josh is just an amazing player. Oh yeah, he's, he's so good. He's one of the best. Yep. But anyway, you're on the play. Yep, I'm on the play. Well, I guess you won the last game of the last series, so I'm on the play. No, 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 no. Is that still, how it works? No, it's still three two for you. <laughs> and I got I got my uh, velocity here with these street rates, and so they could be anything. So let's let's see what they got. You, you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I'll go to eighteen. I wonder if I should be saving this other street rate. No, I just hmm. No, well, let's just go. All right, sixteen. Let's go. All right, uh, let's go. Shock. Yep. 14, ponder. Um, sure. I'll keep keep them like this. Draw my card. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to fetch down to 19 because I'm a reasonable human being. Oh, a reasonable <laughs> human being that has millions millions of dollars of, of like one card. Underground sea. Things right, right now. I will ponder. Okay. And this is an interesting one because if you waste me, I'm going to really want this. So I think we are going to keep it. Your turn. All right, I'm going to go down to, I'm taking three. So down to 11. Okay. And I'll be casting a Death Shadow. That is rough, but... I do believe I'm going to. Hmm, I'm going to let hmm, that resolve. Okay. Death Shadow. Uh, cards in hand? Four. All right, force it. Yep. I okay. love picking up the, the shock lance so you can shock again. 
Wow. I love it that's, too. It's, that's really nice. It's great, isn't it? I don't know I, who I thought of that. so much fun. That's... Mm hmm. Him to Trachio. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Everything's fine over here. Oh, shock, go down to nine. I'm at so ten. I got, I got four fours. I think I think you're at eleven. No, I've oh, because the force. Because the force. Uh, six cards. Oh, yep. Every everything's good over here. Hooray! This was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was savage. Well, I'm the play, and this hand is not the most powerful, but it does have the uh, the best combo in Legacy. Okay. Very, what is the best combo in Legacy? The best combo in Legacy. It's not Street Wraith and Reanimate. Okay, I we I guess we're playing a mirror. Okay, okay. All right. That is that. I don't know. Um, I I would assume it's Brainstorm Fetchland. It, you are correct. Okay. All right. Well, go. Ahead. You're up. Okay. Thought maybe you wanted to talk about your sweet hand. No, it's just I got a lot of lands, but I got some wastelands and stuff. So. All right. I just kept a Brainstorm also. So. Yep. Do the same same kind of thing. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lead with the regular land here, and just plan on using a fetch land to get rid of some stuff with this brainstorm. Right. So go ahead. You're at 18, and yep. I'll say go. I will brainstorm. Okay. Uh, get rid of these. Second main. Draw Delver. Let's play that. Okay. Good. I'm going to fatal push your Delver. Sure. So I'm at 18, you're at 19. Mm -hmm. Into Tarakio. Ooh, that, that card's good. I'm I'm a fan. At six. Yeah. One to six. Six. One to five. Three. Nice. And nice. Now suspend it for three. <laughs> <turn>. <laughs> but suspend three it comes back the other way though. That would be an interesting card. Thought sees. So I'm at 16. Push and ponder. I think I just take the ponder because the push is just going to trade one for one, but the ponder can can do a lot more. So let's just take that. Uh, so I'm at 16. And then we'll go to. I mean, did I make you discard two lands when you're 13? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, was a, it was a good one for me. We'll go to 13 and I'll put that back. They'll just get pushed. Sure. Go ahead. So you go to 12? Yep, so I'm at 12 now because you're going to Oh, whoops, not that one. That one doesn't deal me damage. Alright. Alright, so you had push and what was what was your other land? I know Delta okay. was one of the lands. Falk, okay. We were both pretty flooded this game. Alright. You have two cards. Guess I'll just say go. Okay. Oh, keep. Combat. Yep. Rock. 17. And I'm at 12? Yep. Ugh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. Should probably leave a spell. Oh. My turn? Yep. You have two cards? Yeah. Brainstorm. Yep. Uh, no, that's unfortunate. Uh, 
That's unfortunate. Well, this card's definitely going on top because I don't don't just, want that one the most. All right. And then it doesn't really matter which one I put on top because I'm just going to draw it. This resolves? So I have a question. I have a question. So yeah. you use the dice that can go down the black ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So I use this one if I want to go down. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll bounce that. Jump out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dodged it. It's a zombie fish. It can go under. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Um, Double threat. All right. All right. Grove of the Burn Willows. One <laughs> no Grove, no Grove, no Grove. All right, brainstorm. Yep. All right, we'll put those up. I'm going to fetch down to 16. I really wish I would have drawn a daze or a force will. Oh, oh do you wish that you drew drew something? Yeah. Mr. Lucky over there that always draws everything against me? Ooh, Street Wraith? That's, what you're, that's why you fetched? No, street it's because I'm still flooded. <laughs> <laughs> still horribly flooded. All right, brainstorm. Oh, okay, they're gonna bolt me. Oh yeah, that's that's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Discard a card, deal two damage to Death Shadow. I think we just have to discard Gurmy. Okay. Even though I don't want to, but just Jace is just be able to deal with it. Still horribly flooded, but all I have are cantrips. Go. All right, we know our card on top's a dead card for the most part, but we got some storm into brain. Yeah. So we. Okay, let's put that back. And we'll put this back, and I will thought seize you. Mm, I kind of screwed this up. Lightning bolt. All right, so I'm down to ten. Yeah. I'll go to seven. How are you going to seven? Fetch land. Oh, okay. I'll just play a fetch, and because I don't, I know the two cards on top. I don't want to draw them, so I'll just shuffle them away. Go to seven. Hit you for six. Whoa. Put a hit. Hit Jace for six. Oh right. Hit Jace for six. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess okay. it doesn't really even matter, but hmm. the Jaces kind of went away, and so I was kind of thinking that I was attacking you. Okay, that's I'm nice. Else today. Do that, and I'm going to push, push. All right, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. The whole you go to six. You can take it back. Okay. You don't need to. You can put it into play yeah. Tapped. Yeah, I'll just put it in play tabs. Sure. So right. you're at nine. So I meant eight, though. I just saved the two life. I drew at seven. I went to, from 10 to the Thought Seas, and then... Oh, yeah, you're right, so that'll just be 9. Okay. Okay. Yep, you're right, you're yeah. right. The 6 was the power, not the... Not the... Yep. Um, yeah, I'll take these. Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. Brainstorm. Yep. Man, Legacy, okay. you just never draw a bad card. That's kind of how it works. <laughs> yeah, Ponder. just every draw stuff's good. I'll shuffle. Okay. I have this on top, right? Yeah. Good. All right, so I'm at 9, you're at 16. I'm at 17. Am I at 16? Maybe I'm at 16. Am I at 16? I'll okay, be at yeah. 16 then. Yeah. Draw. Mm, go. Ponder? Yeah. Shuffle. Right. What if I, what if I do this into this? No. Let's just shuffle. Think about doing street wraith into stuff out. <laughs> okay. I could basically go, so I could take six there and put you, you know, go down to three and hit you for ten. In my I play bolts and snapcasters deck. Wait. <laughs> I'm shuffling, but. Could I guess I could could have just taken the snuff out and make it a two turn clock. But then I'm just drawing just really bad cards after that, that I don't want. Yeah. All right. Attack four. for four. Down 12. to twelve. Go. 
seven. Maybe I should reanimate Gurmag Angler now that I'm at seven. Go. I'm not sure what Brad has, but doesn't seem thrilled about it. Could be a Snapcaster for how he's looking at his graveyard, but maybe not. Go to combat. So I can put you at three? Snuff out will put you at three? Yeah, Snuff out puts me to three. And then that thing will be a nine, and I'm at 12? Yep. Okay, combat's okay. Snapcaster mage. Uh, snap resolves. What's the target? The target is Polygon's command. I don't know if I can survive. Can I survive? Well, you can survive if you cast that. No, I, yeah, I definitely can't cast this. So, so yeah. So I'll go to block. Go to. to go to nine. Go to nine. Yeah, and then you're just gonna rebuy your snap. Okay, you, command on this and rebuy snap. Yep. Go. So I guess you don't have four attacking with the. Go to five. With the snap there. And fatal push again. Your turn. Snapcaster is a really good card. It is. It's one of the best. What, five? Yeah. Three? Yeah. Oh, in response to three, I'll just bolt you. Okay. Yeah, oh, God. So many Snapcasters. <laughs> so for sideboarding, I'm looking to basically get some more disruption in that uh, is not creature based. Taking out my removal and uh, also trimming a force here with it going to be pretty grindy and that you have him to Turok also mm -hmm. to kind of rip apart my hand. So I'm trying to do that plan as well. Use him to Turok myself. I'm um, going to bring in a spell bomb to just kind of take out your snap plan and also just kind of be able to replace itself, be able to get down underneath him to Turok and stuff and just be able to sit down on the battlefield for whenever I need it. And then Liliana to clean up Baleful Strix, which is a problematic card for me, and also just help rebuy my threats. I mean, Liliana of the... Last hope. It there's it's a two of in this deck. It's so good in the mirrors. It's good against this deck. Um, great great inclusion. I'm going to be taking out Force of Will, Colgan's Command, and a Last Hope because these these cards are just a little too slow in multiples. But I'm bringing a Snare Bridge in because this deck cannot beat it. If I no. put a Snare Bridge onto the battlefield, um, yeah. I'm I'm going to eventually be able to Jace Ultimate you. Yeah, that's that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. But we're not going to play those games out. If I resolve a Snare Bridge, <laughs> it's over. We're done. <laughs> Okay, we're back for game three, and ours is a keep here. We got a turn one Delver, and then we got Disruption after that, so let's, let's go ahead. 18. All right. All right, I'm going to get a Swamp and Fatal Push no. Delver. In your turn. I think I'm just going to, I don't think I want a Watery Grave here. Maybe I do just always shock. Like, even though I don't have... I probably should just shock. Even though I don't have a Death Shadow yet, but I can find it eventually. So yeah, let's go ahead and shock and play this thing. That's a good magic card. Alright, one through six. Yeah. One, one, one through five. <laughs> Four. Four. I lose. That and a command. Not the worst. Go ahead. Not the best, but not the worst. I will play Island and play a Strix. Yeah. Go. Cards in hand three? Four. Four. Right. Um, I kind of want to do both of those, but to do that I have to crack my fetch, and I think keeping my fetch around is, is just too vital, so let's do this one. Ah. <sighs> Alright, do it. One through four. One, two. two. And then two. Two, four, and six. So four. The middle one. 
Alright. Good. So I'm at uh seven so I've <coughs> three, four, five, six. So I'm at fourteen now. I knew I should have just thought seized you also. I knew I should have. Got him! I oh I wait, no, have. you got a brainstorm? No! <laughs> I knew I should have just. Oh, man. Go down to 11. All right. But, you know, I didn't really want to crack this fetch because my other two cards are Brainstorm Ponder. And just, yep. you know, I don't really want to crack the fetch. All right, let's see if my skill can do something in this match, too. Okay. Need a daze or a force oil. Or stubborn now. No, no, because no, that's that, taps. Yeah. yeah, never mind. Wait, should we do one at a time? This one at a time thing is a terrible idea. Oh. No! The third no! one. The third one. Oh. Yeah, if I put two cards back, I guess we just put those two back. Oh, that was sad. I want the land over. Now let's go with Nazis. Okay. Ugh. Your turn. All right. You just have one card. Yep. All right. Let's do. Let's do something cool. What is your life total? Um. I just went down to eleven. With that, I'm at eleven. Does that count this too? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do something cool. Ugh. First. Thought sees you. You're nine. Okay, nine. I'm at seven. Seven. Could just die to the Strix. Oh. You can reanimate this and yep. then reanimate the Delver? Yep, that was the plan. Okay. Reanimate that, reanimate that. So you're now at three? So I'm at three. Ugh. <laughs> I probably, just, should, I probably should just not have cast my thought sees. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And I know I'm, my Delver's not going to flip here. So oh, you know that? Yeah. You're at two? Yeah. You have one card? I just shouldn't have taken the thought sees. I should have left my thought sees here. <laughs> You're at two. Yikes. Some good ones. Oh, come on. Wait, that, yeah, I'd put that right. Good. Humph. Three. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> the two d kills me. <laughs> All right, game four. This is most likely not a keep, but. <laughs> Well, mine is certainly uh, a key. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be kind of playing mine. Wait, what? that doesn't deal you 13 damage. No, it's not great. Go ahead. All right, let's uh, fetch. Get an underground C to match your underground C. Nice. I like and the symmetry. And then I'm going to... Oh, wait, so I have to just say go for the symmetry? No, <laughs> I, I think I'll ponder. Okay. Just basically kept this hand because this card's great. So I'll link you in because of this card. I guess we keep this. It's awkward because I'm just going to get hemmed. And the problem with getting hemmed with this hand is the randomness of just getting wrecked but if i play if i keep this on top and i use it and then i just get dazed then i even have a higher chance of getting wrecked so <laughs> <laughs> so i think it's safe to do this in your turn it's not really what i wanted good oh no okay well i will take it and your turn All right, fetch shock. Get your 
17. I always grab the wrong one. It's just the white border land, you know, you're fetching, and you're just like, oh, that's that's a dual land. Grab it. Nope. Right, what are we playing? Playing Liliana at the last hope. You're going to just run it out there? Well, I'm running it out there real hard. Hmm. It's like I have my hand, because it's great. Okay. Go. Or maybe I'm not. No, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm. I can. I can fight over it. I'm gonna brainstorm. Sure. All right. What don't we want? So we're probably gonna do that to that. We want to keep this around. We might not even need to use this. So it's probably like this. Because this will be our backup. And oh, we don't need all of this. It's probably best to do that. OK, so we're going to put these on top like that. And then I am going to go to. 18 and force to will that. Dang. Okay. Good. Not sure if I want this card now. So I'm at 17 and you're at 18. Yeah. Probably do. Go. Destroy that. Blue. Okay. Go to combat. It's gone. Destroy that. Red. No, black. Black. All right. Go to end step. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Yeah. Dissolves. Go. Man. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Your first creature on turn 10. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Zombie. Okay. Going to push that one? Bolt that. Only cost two mana. You should probably be able to push it. Brainstorm. Sure. This is tough. Probably these in this order. Go. Hiya. Uh, take it. Twelve. Right. Results. Good. Man. What again? <laughs> Always killing my dollar. <laughs> Can't even find any secrets. I'm I'm done. So you're at 11. Yeah. That makes things way easier. I guess if you have that card, how many cards are in your hand? Five. It's a lot of cards. And they're all good except for these five. Go. I'll respond. Edict you. Good? No. Okay.
Cluster Storm. Your turn. We'll take three more. You drew your both of them. That's just rude. Drew both of what? Both of your lilies. Oh no, I'm just playing another green. Oh, okay. Good. All right, so I'm at 14. <clears throat> You're at 11. And you I have three cards. Yep. I got some more zombie fishing. Go down to ten, make a two turn clock. I mean I don't want to, but I might I might have to. <clears throat> Edict you. Let me figure out what I'm gonna fetch before you if you daze me. Let's go with, hmm. which one do you want to go with? They're all three days. No, just, which one, which one do you think's the days? There's a days in there. Called it. Pick up this. Yeah, it's brutal. Go. Right. Attack. Yep. All right, so you're down to five. five. Um, I'm at 14. I could shock to get to 12, but I don't have a shadow, so I don't know if that's really even worth it. I've been I played with fire last game. Don't know <laughs> if I want to again. See, you know, like this angler dies, and suddenly I'm getting hit by a snap a bunch. Do you think it's safer to just put in the play tapped? Yep, soul shock. Okay. Go down to 12. Go ahead. <laughs> Got to turn. Ponder. Sure. Got to turn on that uh, Death Shadow that's on top somehow. It's not the worst. Strix. Hmm. <clears throat> Got a force pitch days. Okay. It's gone. Your turn. So I'm down to 11. Block. Ponder. Block. Don't don't play anything. Just let me block first. Ponder. Yeah. Whew. Man. Don't oh. woo me. If only that would work. It doesn't work, though. I think I still keep this, because just that that card's just important, but I can't I can't play it till next turn. But we'll just keep this. All right, attack. You get to block on my waste landing. I guess, uh, bulk. Good. Yep. Down to four. Maybe... Real quick, maybe I'm supposed to keep this over this, and because then it hell marries me. I think so. So I'm going to keep this as my hand. Okay. Yeah, because it's brainstorm, not ponder. You get to choose your two. Yeah. I just assumed I wanted to keep that one card for longevity, but maybe. Yeah. Dead. Hey, <laughs> I didn't have all three days. All okay. right, this is the final game to see who wins the week. Let's do it. Your turn. Hopefully no lands over here for the rest of the game. Yeah, but no lands. Going no to lands. 18 and playing it over. You're saying that you don't want to draw any more lands? Yeah. Because I don't mind hearing that. I'm going to him you. Your turn. Ugh. That's not good. You don't have to show me. I know, but I kind of want to just play it because I wanted to show it for th for that. But I guess I should just I guess I should just do this. Shock again, sixteen. Oh, waste me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna waste the blue. Yep. 19. One. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Eighteen. Go. Ha. <laughs> 
<laughs> can I show this one? <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> uh, attack roll at 17, yeah. and then uh, I'll just shock again. Go ahead. Okay. Magic. Go. So I could brainstorm to make sure that our Delver flips, but then... That's not that's not so bad, and then I can just play a fetch land and shuffle away the other cards. Delver could probably die here though, but that's fine. Alright, brainstorm one, two, three. Or in response to the brainstorm, I should just push. Yeah, that's that's yeah, what I that's the do in response. Yeah. That's what you do. Okay. And now we're gonna draw one of these lands and just put the other one back. It doesn't really matter. All right. I just don't want them. All right, we'll just draw one. Um, now, what do we want to do? <sighs> Guess we get the pressure on. I don't like to hear that. <clears throat> you have six cards. Yeah. No, let's let's just go ahead and hem you. All right. You want me to do it while you're shuffling? Go ahead. One yeah. Six. So I'm. Four. One, I'm at five. what? Sixteen right now. Three. So yeah, I'll just go to 13. Let's try and decide if I want to shock or not. Good. Alright, let's start rebuilding. Play a Strix. I think I have to counter that. Um... Strix is just going to be too good. It's just going to eat my creature and then and draw a card and everything. But I get rid of one of these and I guess we'll get rid of this one. All right, your turn. That was a bad draw step. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have two cards. Oh, I gotta do six, not seven. Yeah, I have two cards. Six. Go. Upkeep. Discard return strix. Oh yeah. No, it was upkeep. Yeah. For oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that reason. that's yeah, that so that doesn't untap. Sorry. That's fine. Five. Yeah, I'm at twelve. Yep. Cards okay. in hand? Oh, you lucky. Two. You are so lucky. Go ahead. I'm taking another Go. three. I'm down to ten. Man, I'm really glad you didn't draw Jace the Mind Sculpture there. I would have been so dead. I just drew a land to make my fourth land draw. Oh, yeah. If okay, I drew no Jace, mind. it wouldn't have been cast. Okay, or an Edict or something. Or a Baleful Strix. Ponder. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, let's keep these. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just keep these. I'll reanimate the street race. Sure. Take five, I'm down to five. Hit you for five, you're down to seven. Why don't you take the snap and that? Oh, you have a snap over there? Well, then I have to, I have to play this. I, I want this mana. Oh, sure. Because yeah. you have a counter? Yeah, go ahead. I have, an, I have another stubby. Well, like it does many times on the Versus series, luck favors you. Oh, I mean, I had some it's... wastelands. They were very good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All skill. I, I targeted their correct yeah. land. There was a uh, lot of skilling going on. A yeah. lot of my cuts in modern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of ponders. Yeah, a lot of my ponders that showed like everything I, I needed. Know, like, people, yeah, people, like, why was I complaining about luck? Magic's pure skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's all skill. You That's... put the cards in your deck for a reason. Mm -hmm. I, I had 60% more skill in Legacy. You had 60% more skill in Modern. You know, like, this is how it works. That shouldn't be the way it works. Yeah, it really yeah, should. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I do think both of these decks are very good for Legacy right now. Uh, a lot of people, you know, talk about the format and how, like, Combo or Delver, they think that these decks, um, like, Combo has always dominated the format, mm -hmm. and they think it's, like, the most powerful stuff, right? But if you look at the last five years, it's Delver and Control that has actually been the most 
gave the most problems to the format. Yeah. Death Right Shaman was the best card, mm -hmm. uh, and people banned it, but it was in a Delver deck and a control deck. Yep. Miracles got a ban. You know, like, maybe a while back when Combo had to be banned because it was too degenerate, but ever since then, they've been trying to find a balance. And I still think that, that Control has the edge. Mm -hmm. Him to Turok is really good against Combo decks because yeah. it's backed up by Counterspells and Force of Will. So I would strongly recommend an Underground C strategy personally. I think both these decks are good. A lot of people like Death and Taxes and Sneak and Show, and I think both these decks have favorable matchups. Um, I guess the Delver deck plays a bunch of Dread Knight because it doesn't have a good matchup. Right, yeah, it's looking like that's where it's just definitely looking just to beat that. But I don't think you need all the Dread Knights. I think you can do other stuff like Toxic Deluge and all that kind of stuff. I don't agree with that. I think really? if they have Dread if if they tested this deck and put three Dread Knights in the sideboard, mm -hmm. that is a message. That, you know, like, yeah. we're well, sending a message. Saying the matchup is not that good. Yeah, but then also like with the smaller tournament, the pro tours are and stuff. Like it's you know that kind of thing of hey, I want to beat this this matchup, kind of like with the Turbo Fog deck. Where I don't know if like in a in like an open field, if you're playing like an open or Grand Prix or anything, if you can afford to have that many Dread Knights in your deck. Well, but that might be because of the other matchups. I, I don't think yeah. that you can target that much at a pro tour. Okay. I mean, even if you expect like what did they couldn't have expected, like Death and Taxes. What was it actually in a higher representation than you think uh, a, another tournament would be in? Um, like, I don't, I don't know. think it was that overplayed. It was yeah, like it wasn't that. Yeah, fourth it wasn't. or fifth most played deck, and that's yeah, it, where I think I'd see it in, in Legacy moving forward. Yeah, that's true. So, so well, okay, I have a question for you about this deck. So, you know, like this was like the breakout deck and everything. What do you think? Like, what do people do to to now to adapt to the blue black shadow deck? Like, what do people like? Start, like, maybe what do they start playing deck wise, or just card choice wise? Like, maybe in Grixis to start adapting. What do you? you Liliana's defeat could be an interesting card, okay. but in all honesty, I don't know. I do think that if you're Filled has a bunch of Lilianas and Gourmet Anglers and not reliant on True Name Nemesis, even Street Wraith. I think that a card like Liliana's Defeat would probably be the best card mm -hmm. because it answers every threat for one mana. Right, yeah. And so that's that's where I would go. But who knows? Making them lose three life might be good for them. Yeah. Do you think Death and Taxes start playing Isolate? To be able to exile Dread it's Knight? Isolate. It's the the new from Corset 19, one white mana to exile anything that costs one exactly one mana like exile target permanent like cmc one. Oh, any permanent yeah any permanent cmc one that sounds like a card that they could have been already playing mm -hmm. yeah i could i could definitely see them that now like with the mirror with like a ether vial or just like yeah dread of night or death shadow or anything yeah. that could be a sideboard card for them for the, the coolest one that i saw was somebody at the the night before the pro tour looking for fumble Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Exactly. It's yeah. from like the new sets, the Battle Bonds. Oh, okay. It's colorless blue and summon. Mm -hmm. But then you gain control of all auras and equipment on that creature and put them on your own creature. <laughs> so it's like bounce your germ token, get your battle scroll, equip it to my creature. Huh. Like and you gain control of it. Yeah, so it's just so they can't just like pay the equip cost and take it back. Well they can if it's in response, but not not if they're tapped out. Yeah, if they right. go end a turn, do this, you're like fumble it, put it on my thing. <laughs> like you really fumbled that turn. <laughs> but but That's anyway. Cool. All right. This weekend is SCG Dallas. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be down there battling hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be taking a much needed break because nice. I've been playing way too much magic as of late. So then what are you gonna be watching? Um well, you not make day two, of course. Right. Well, you're supposed to do like the coverage on like twitch.tv slash SAG tour. That was like your line here. Oh, that's how you're doing this? You're just, you're throwing that? Yeah, I was giving it to you to set that up of like, you know, the 15 rounds of coverage, you know. 15 rounds of coverage. Cedric Phillips, Todd Anderson mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is going to be bringing you 15 rounds of Swiss, only seven of this guy, and he's got. <laughs> oh, there's no. No, there's no buys of team events. Okay, because I. But still, only seven. Indy, I'm not even get to round I looked, eight. I looked up Indy, and there was only 12 <laughs> points besides your name. Yeah, I didn't. I, uh, I, you know, I played Tron, which is a vol volatile deck. And I also think it's poorly positioned right now. Well, I had like I really liked my matchups against the top decks, but I just didn't play. You know, I was playing against like Amulet Titan and Burn and yeah. stuff, and I took out all my stuff against Burn. Like I took out Thrag Tusk and everything, and uh, I just. And so, you know, that just I tried happens. hard to make that deck good. I think right now it's just at its it's at a low point. It's not it, there's not a lot of matchups out there. Like even all the Mardu decks are main decking Blood Moon. Like you're not yeah. like preying on anything. I had four ballistas in my main deck, and so I was like being humans and spirits and stuff. That, that's yeah. what I was trying to do. And I did get to play against spirits once, and I played a lot of ballistas, and it was very fun. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, so well. it is at twitch.tv/scgtour. Nailed it. 
I am great. It's been many <laughs> months, yeah. but I still remember the link that I go to every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to watch me lose. Yeah, that is well, mostly Ross. Mm. I love watching Ross lose. It's <laughs> so then, whenever we lose back to back rounds, is that just the best? Well, I don't get to watch both of them. Usually, okay. I only get to see one. Okay. Yeah, I never yeah. see the fatal blow. Gotcha. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and we will be back next week with some more versus videos. Hope you enjoyed this week. Have a good one.